Hi. Today we will see an indicator called, market block. This is what the indicator looks like. What it does is, starting from the first intraday candle of the day, this indicator starts marking the highest and lowest points of the day. And then draws a box around those levels. If the end point or the current point is higher than the first candle of the day, then, the box gets green in color. If the end point or the current point is lower than the first candle of the day, then, the box gets red in color. Also, it shows the direction of the price movement in the form of these up and down texts. And it keeps doing this each day as you can see. So on each day, we either get such green upward movement boxes, or, we get such red downward movement boxes. We can adjust the colors from the input panel. I will change the up box color to blue. Now, I will change the down box color to orange. You can change the text color also. I will change the text color to black. Also, you can adjust the text size from this input. By default, it is set to normal. Now, I will make it huge. C. Let's do the action replay of the chart and see how the indicator works in real time. As you can see, when the day started, the price was lower than the first intraday candle, so the box was red in color. And as the price went over the first candle level, the box turned green. So this will happen on each and every day. And this indicator can be used on any chart and any intraday timeframe. Right now I'm on the Nifty Index chart. Now, I'm on the Tesla stock chart. Now, I'm on the Bitcoin crypto chart. And now, I'm on the Forex currency chart. See, it works everywhere. I'm making this indicator freely available for everyone to use. The link to the indicator is given in the description of this video below. Just copy and paste that link into a web browser. Such a page will open. This is my TradingView profile by the way. Please follow if you like. Then scroll down a little. And click this Add to Favorite Indicators button. Now open any intraday chart. Go to the Indicators option. Go to the Favorite section. And here you will see the indicator listed. Just click it. And there you go. You are free to use this indicator. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.